Okay, hey guys. So today I'm going to be filming the unboxing of my PlayStation Portal. Man, to get into this. <laughs> so I've been hunting this thing down like a crazy mad woman trying to get this darn thing. And I ended up resorting to Facebook Marketplace because I really, really wanted it because I've been gaming on my PlayStation 5 so, so much. And I wanted something that I could just remote play like to downstairs and like around my house. I know exactly what this does. I'm not oblivious to it. I know that some people might think that this is a standalone console, but it's not. Um, so yeah, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy, so I've been wanting this. Now we are gonna open up the box. It just looks like this. It is still sealed. So I'm gonna unbox it and I probably will like show it set up later. Um, so what this looks like there. I slice the box open. So we're gonna look at it together. So, comes in this gray box. Did you open it like that? It's a lot of packaging. So here it is. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> so the wire is in here, we'll get to that. And the actual console is right here. Ah! Wow, guys. This is really sweet. <laughs> so it's pretty big. So let me grab a couple of things. The controller, is the controller the same size? Okay, so it looks like the controller is basically the same size or maybe a, this one's a little bit smaller let me grab my switch this is it compared to my switch this is definitely this is definitely bigger um but let's look what else is in the box thing down here this is an instruction manual which We might give a read, but I don't know if we are. And then it also comes with a... I'm sure you guys probably watched a hundred of these unboxing videos and I'm just putting my minds on out there. <laughs> this is the wire that it comes with. So this is a USB-C to USB-C. So there's that. Um, yeah. Here's the volume, here's the power. There is a headphone jack under here and this is where you charge it. Wow, guys. So I'm gonna like tamper with this for the rest of the night and maybe I'll come back tomorrow and I'll give you guys like an update on how everything is going. Hey guys, so I'm finally sitting down and filming this video. It is the next day. And I have spent, yes, you're going to see the reflection in my device and in my screen. Anyway, um, I have had this, it's, like I said, it's the next day and um, I played this last night and I have some thoughts. <laughs> so... Um, there's gonna be a lot of pausing so there's gonna be a lot of cutting in this video but i have to say that i am not a hundred percent in love with this um portal and i will tell you why so i love this like this works well for me because i play final fantasy like as you can see like i play um Diablo, um, Rune Factory, Persona, like 
these kinds of games, right? So it's not, um, I'm not playing anything that's like super fast paced. Um, so I can say for like latency and stuff like that, I haven't had frame drops. Now I'm letting you know, I only played last night. I ended up beating my Final Fantasy VII Remake on here last night, which was amazing. Um, but I can see how this is not going to be for a lot of people. And it's because the way Sony did things is kind of weird. And I'm not a super high, like, I don't know tech real well. I just know that if you do not have a strong connection for your internet, this is not going to be great. Now, my PS5 is Ethernet cabled, so I am hooked up directly into our router. It's probably why I haven't experienced any latency, but I have not taken this downstairs to play. So I'm sure I'm going to have an updated video on how this is going to run but I haven't taken it downstairs, so I don't know how frame rates are gonna be dropping and stuff like that. Um, the main issue I think that I'm having with this is the whole turning on the PlayStation, like getting this on without inconveniencing myself to get up and having to turn on my PlayStation like fully. So I'm not sure if there's like something that I haven't read or something that I haven't discovered yet, but in order to get this on, you need to fully turn on your PlayStation with the controller and all that, get it on, let it boot up, let it connect to your internet. And then can you set, like put this, connect this to it. And for me, that's kind of like, it's just, I don't understand why it's not so f like fluid enough to where like you just tap that and it'll turn it on. I don't have to like use my controller to like get into my PlayStation. Like, because at that point I'm having to turn on this, I'm having to turn on the PlayStation, I'm having to turn on a controller just to get this to work. So in that regard, I do not like it. Um, like I said, I've only played this for last night. And like I said, the games that I play are not super heavy. Now I am pre-ordering Final Fantasy Rebirth for next year. I don't know how that's gonna play on here. I think it will be okay because Final Fantasy 16 runs well on here and that's really a lot of cinematic, um, you know graphics so i think that it will run well um i have been watching some youtube videos to where people are playing call of duty and stuff like that and the latency is so bad that they can't even really play the game now that doesn't really affect me like i said personally because i don't play first person shooters I get motion sickness from it so I don't do that um but I could see how it would be a big issue for a lot of people because a lot of people play Call of Duty um also getting this thing everybody wants it and I don't think everybody knows what it is personally um I had called my local GameStop because I had tried for weeks to get this in store but I just couldn't and I spoke to one of my GameStop workers and he ended up telling me that people have been buying this not knowing what it is and coming back and returning it because they think that this is a standalone console and it is not um I knew that going in the big reason I got this was because I am going up and down the stairs. Like I'm 
constantly being downstairs and I'm constantly being upstairs. So I wanted something to where I could play downstairs and not have to be tied to being upstairs because I wanted to spend time with my boyfriend. We're always down there and I would have to stay up because I have been staying upstairs and playing where with this, I'm able to spend time downstairs. Um, I'm sure it'll connect fine down there because our downstairs is not far from my PlayStation, but I just don't understand. Like people haven't researched it at all and are buying it and people who know what it is um, can't even get it because it's just sold out. But anyway, um, do I recommend this? Um, I recommend it if you take everything into consideration of it being just an accessory is what it is. It's nothing that is gonna... I don't know, like, I haven't taken this out to connect to a hotspot and play, and I probably won't ever do that because my needs is not for that. Um, now, I guess the true test is when I have to go spend time at my dad's house. Um, I don't have my PlayStation there. I do have good internet there, but we have no, no, um, PlayStation. So I don't know. I mean, we have a PlayStation 4, but you know, it only works with PlayStation 5. So I don't know how that's going to work for me when that time comes. Um... So yeah, unless I'm missing something, um, your PlayStation always has to be on. So that's kind of a bummer if I'm being honest because you're just, I feel like running the PlayStation 5 for five, for eight hours, like say if you game for eight hours or, and by the way, this isn't, this handheld is not going to last eight hours. Last night when I played, I fully charged it and then I played Final Fantasy VII Remake um i beat sephiroth and by the end of it i was already down to half now it's understandable because like the more heavier the game is the more battery it's going to use i i do understand that um but um having the playstation on the whole time is kind of a bummer because i feel like you, you like I can see people wanting to use this as like a way not to wear their console out but you can't do that um you're gonna have to have both on and it's funny that you can't even have it in rest mode so I don't know like if you can have it in rest mode I have not figured that out yet to where like it could be in rest mode and you play you can't do that it fully has to be on in order for you to play um so like i said if you could take all that into consideration yes it's it's great but i don't think that it's like anything spectacular so i think you have to go into it with knowing all the pros and cons on it if you don't then you're going to be disappointed. Um, I am not disappointed with it because, like I said, for what I need it for, it's going to do its job. Um, so, yeah. Uh, people were talking about the sound quality that comes from this. I have no issue. I think the sound quality sounds fine. Um, the screen looks great. It's nothing like an OLED. Um, for sure, but um, it's beautiful nonetheless. Sometimes I feel like looking at this screen and then looking at my TV, this screen does look better. I Probably because the pixels are more compressed, so you get a sharper image. Um, but yeah, so this is just my follow-up to my unboxing. I was so excited, guys. Actually, I am still excited. I'm talking down like I'm not happy I bought this. I am happy I bought it because I am looking forward to gaming with my boyfriend downstairs. We can finally spend time. I don't have to be trapped up here. Um, 
and yeah that's exactly what i wanted it for so in that regards i'm happy about it um of course the scalpers are out there and i like i said i did buy it off of facebook marketplace um and i did pay more than what it's worth um mainly because right now in this time it serves me a lot of purpose so that's why i decided i'm just going to pull the trigger buy it and use it while i while i need it so yeah thanks for watching guys